Uh, David, you wrote a book called <laughs> Does Altruism Exist? Uh, Culture, Genes, and the Welfare of Others. And it makes sense that animals will risk their lives to save their children, keep the, keep the gene pool going. But uh, how does that explain what he did, helping a stranger? There? Yeah, so altruism, I think that some, there's so much to say about this. And one thing that you brought up uh, backstage and, and again here is that in our particular culture, it's so dominated by the idea that everything is a form of self-interest that we're dumbfounded by the very concept of altruism dumbfounds us because we've been told again and again and again that we are homo economicus, everything we do is driven by self-interest, which is not the case. When we think, start to think about individual differences from an evolutionary perspective and that, and that these differences primarily are, are, are succeeding in different ways, then not only is there a niche for selfishness, including a niche for psycho psychopathy, mm -hmm. there's even a theory that uh, that there is a, something called primary psychopaths, mm -hmm. just born that way, not caused by the environment. And this is a successful social strategy, but only at a very low frequency. In a, in a world of cooperators and the primary psychopath, because they're so rare, actually ca catches everyone unaware. But as soon as they would increase to a certain frequency, then the vigilance of other people would, would kick in. And so basically, that's why they're as rare as they are. They're not zero, they're like 3% or or 5%, but for the rest of us, then the good news for selfishness is that you get to exploit altruists. The bad news is you get excluded and punished. If you're an altruist, the good news is you get exploited. But the bad news is, is that you, if you can cluster, if you can find the company of other altruists, then, then together, as groups of altruists, then you can robustly outcompete selfish individuals. So in fact, it's no puzzle at all to explain this kind of individual difference and say why an empathetic person can succeed and fail and the converse. So this is another axis of individual difference that exists and, and, and who succeeds and to the degree to which they succeed depends very much on how we structure our social environments. Mm -hmm.